Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Hopefully my uh, screen is a lot cleaner. Thanks for those who told me, clean your lens on your camera, you doofus. So I did, it looks much better. Um, I know I said I was gonna do tree ring pours and I definitely plan on doing that. But sometimes when you're really inspired, you just gotta go with your internal thing, you know? So that's what I'm doing today because I was inspired um, by a particular color. I built some colors around it and I'm dying to blow it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll get to tree ring pours, I promise. Let me get you down. So this is 16 by 20 canvas. Get down there, get all the way down. So I hate having to futz with this, hold on. Let me do this and loosen that so that it wants to move. Straighten you out, there we go. All right, so um, the base coat on the canvas is, it'll come up. This is my, I still have the big gallon because I had to buy more. This is my Glidden Essentials Interior Paint Semi-Gloss White. I made two cups of it with a, I ran out, so maybe about, not quite a quarter cup of GAC 800. I squirt that in there just to prevent the crazing of the house paint because the house paint and two paint dries at two different rates. And that way it's the great equalizer. I'm sure I could use Floetrol as well, but that just uh, slows down the drying time rather than just prevent crazing. So that's why um, I prefer the GAC over the Floetrol. So colors, this is my color that I was inspired by today. This is an Arteza um, shade. It is called Pearl Cactus. So I have a couple Pearl Cactus Green. It's this like sage green color. I'm in love with it. Um, so I added that to my pouring medium mix, which will come up on the screen, a one-to-one -one ratio. And then I had to add water to my two paints because they're not the same as squirting in a liquid like my gold in this. I'm still stuck on my Cronacridone Nickel Azo Gold color. Um, squirting that in, when I just squirt that liquid in, I don't have to play with anything. I just leave it whatever consistency it is because it turns out great. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the line on a canvas, I think kinda Hmm, maybe I just make a big squig squiggle and blow it out. So I'm just gonna go. My daughter's gonna walk in from school any minute. So I have about, I have about a half an hour and I fully expect a couple fails because I've never done this before. And you go, guys know I'm uh, picky pants about composition, so we'll see how this goes. So that was turquoise. This is pistachio. This is the nickel azo gold. This is not a metallic, it is gold. Orangey yellow color is not a metallic. And some Payne's gray. And then this cactus color is my favorite. My cell activator, still using my Australian Floetrol. Ah, uh, almost out of it. God, that stuff is so expensive. So necessity <clears throat> will definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> still leftover cough. Um, necessity will force me back to tree rings in my original uh, pouring medium recipe because I won't have any of the Floetrol. Uh, so let's, I'm gonna do white and black though. So just the thin line of the white. 
that's titanium white, and then the black is carbon black. All right, let's blow this out. No oh God, there goes nothing. Cool air on high. I got all black and white cells and no color. Like none. I blew a blew a cup across the room. <laughs> uh, I mean, some in here. <sighs> Do I go ahead and tilt and see what it looks like with just the black and white cells everywhere? I don't like that. Do I add some more color? Maybe just go with one, um, some one cell activator, just go with the black. Let me try that. Let me just put a little line right through all this. And I'm gonna go again. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Come on out. Let's do that. Oops, gosh, I'm a mess. Some pistachio. Some Payne's gray. Just a little. Some cactus sage. All right, and then just the black. I'm just get the white. All right, let's try this again. I hate this already and I haven't even like stretched it out. You guys are probably like stretch it out and see first. But like it's all white now. What the hell? Hell's bells. I'm adding more color you all. I'm gonna skip the Payne's Gray. All right, where's my black? Tilt. 
take three. Trying for color. on low that time. Maybe that was my problem. I was blasting it too hard. I'm new at this. What can I say? Yep, I think that was my problem. I was blowing it too hard with the hair dryer. Oh, I love the colors. All right, now the hard part, composition. That part, that was rough just getting to that. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny? I don't know about you guys, but like, when I get inspired like that, like I picked up that, that sage, or you know, this cactus color, this stuff, this, little Orteza stuff, which Orteza paints are awesome if you haven't tried them. They are great. But I put that with the um, with the phalo turquoise and the cronacridone, and I was like, oh, I have to do this right now. I have to do it right now. That's like, that's pretty much what happened like an hour ago. And this, I love. I wish I had more of it, but. All right, tilting. Let me go ahead and add some more. This is really thin. I've really blown out this puddle. So let me add a circle house paint around this. Some in the corners just to get it over there. I feel like I'm gonna waste a bunch of paint on my tarp. I'm gonna take that leftover paint and use it as a base for another painting. Waste not, what not. Did I just smear right through there? I did, didn't I? Oh well. All right. Wish me luck. I'm gonna take this all the way over here. So I'm not trying to make a bloom or anything. It kind of turned out looking sort of like one. That was not my intention. Definitely going for more abstract. Mm, all right. All right, making sure everything's moving in unison. Pick a corner. All right. Bring it on back. again. I wanted more negative space, but I added so much color that that's not going to happen. All right, final corner. I want this one side first, okay? And then the corner, and then that top part. And then, yeah, a little more on the top part. I'm gonna swing this one part I like in the middle and then bring it down. Let me 
me stare at this. I have um, speckles from the white house paint everywhere. It doesn't bother me up in here because there's so much white and in here you can't see it. It kind of bothers me down here a little bit. I don't know if I like my little center part. I really stare at it. I do love this uh, shock of color right here though. And this is fantastic. I'm gonna pour some of this white off and just come down and then go back up for a second. like that big squiggly. I'm going to stretch this all to hell y'all. Like I said, I don't, I didn't expect to get, um, you know, a masterpiece right out of the gate because I've never done it like this before. It's a little better. I like this, but I don't like it. If that makes any sense. God, that Nico Aza gold, man, it is just, I love it so, so much. I gotta say, I kinda like the movement this has. <clears throat> Ugh, I need like a hair thingy. I don't have one down here, do I? Oh, I've got some more. Oh, a couple cells. I like the movement, I just don't like how this dead ends. I think that's my deal. Otherwise, I love it. It's just the way it dead ends right there. Like, uh, complete halt. This one, this part isn't as bad. These two sides are great. The The middle here has a couple green cells now, but it's, it's like very, very shimmery. It's like the Payne's gray hit, I don't know what it hit, maybe the, uh, pistachio green um, but it is very very shimmery right there in the middle so I wonder if I can well, that one part helped a little bit A straw. <clears throat> and, uh, see, it's just going to make those weird thingies. I don't like those at all. Oh, it just stuck my shirt in it. 
<sighs> Didn't I do that once before? I really should learn to get out my apron. Look how pretty that is underneath there. There's too much pain in the middle too. I'm gonna have to uh, put on, I'm like wiping off my boob because I dunked it in paint. Well, now it looks like it has like a weird flower in the middle. I'm gonna stare at this. these cells here yeah you know as much as I just love this one part like I want this to be the painting like cut out a little square and have that be the the art so I'm gonna um tilt it some more if I don't like it then I'm probably gonna scrape it I'm probably gonna have to uh, take a uh, commercial break and run my daughter to the ice skating rink that'll give the house paint um, some time to sit and uh, think about itself and um, get out some of the bubbles. The colors though, I hope you guys can see why I'm so enamored with uh, the color choices today. Gosh, all right. I'm gonna lose a lot of this here. I'm gonna bring this all the way down No, you probably can't see. Just give me a second. A little bit more big ugly cell. Get off. Okay. I'm loving this, y'all. It's very abstract. Um, I think that was the right call. I'm definitely gonna do another painting with these colors. I'm like in love. Hold on. All right. Just not so close to the edge. Oh, <gasps> cheddar! I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So this one, I mean, you can hang it. You could hang this any way. Um, this could be the top. It can be horizontal. You could have this be the bottom if it's horizontal or that the bottom if it's horizontal. And I'm gonna tilt a little, just a tiny bit more toward me because there's some wonky cells. I don't know if I like my little bikini corner here. I might let it live. Um, and I just, uh, there was just so much paint on the canvas. I just want to, uh, even though it has the uh, the gack, I want to get some of it off. So, I'm going to say goodbye to a couple wonky cells. The bikini corner is not moving, so we'll leave it. Well, I'm not going to leave it. You know I'm not going to leave it. Why do I always say that? I never do. It just needs to be white. Or actually, that can live. And I'm gonna take a stick. 
I feel like I'm totally invested in this one. Let's do that right there. Let it fade off. There was another spot, like right in here. This, when I get you done, there's still some, um, they call it flocculation, which is basically, you know, speckles of paint from the house paint. Um, like I said, this has so much white, it doesn't bother me. Um, it bothers me when you do um, the bloom style. Oh, I don't like that white there now. Well, maybe it doesn't bother me. We'll leave that there. I just didn't like that little glob. All right, I'm done. I'm calling it. Ta-da! I'm super... Am I even in frame? Yeah, for the most part, right? Hold on. Um, I'm super, super happy with this. I just, like, adore the movement in the colors. Um, very, very abstract. Super happy. That, um, I'm telling you all, go and buy this color in any brand. Well, maybe not. But this golden, um, I think you can get it as a two paint. This quinacridone nickel azo, azo gold. I mean, look at it. It's like orange. It's gold. It's yellow. It's just, it's so, look how orange it is here. It is, um, that almost looks like cadmium orange. It's just so, so versatile. Um, and the way it changes colors. Really fantastic. All right, let me get you down. See how bad my boob is. I smeared it around some, but. All right, so there's the colors. Let me just, um, let's just talk about the colors. I don't know if that's showing, but it looks like the turquoise with the, um, with my Payne's Gray made like this midnight blue color. And then look at the orange speckles from the, how it looks orange. And then up here, all the lacing. Hold on, honey, I'm filming. I'm almost done. All the lacing. Give me two minutes. Go put away your bike, hubby, honey. And then there's the middle section and then how it fades. And you know, my favorite thing is like these really, really thin lines. I adore that. And then this other end here with the other swoosh, the colors are just great. All the way to the end there. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked, y'all. This is uh, very, very Karen, pretty much, yep. So uh, <gasps> I wanna do more, I wanna do more. Um, that's it for me for right now, 27 minutes. Yeah, that's about right. Um, I hope you don't mind. I'm just, uh, you know, when you're feeling it, man, you gotta roll with it, right? I'm just like enamored with these colors and this technique, so I'm gonna do it again. See you soon, take care, bye. Hey guys, it's Karen, I'm back. It's the next morning. The sky is now dry. Unbelievable how quick it dried. Um, the only thing I'm bummed out about is, I love the movement, is like this is midnight blue and like on camera, unless you're like in front of it the way I am, you really can't tell that it's, that it's blue, it looks black. Um, that's what she looks like. I like that you can take the orientation. My family thinks that looks like a tree trunk, like that. My daughter thinks it looks like a water spout. I guess it could be anything. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I did get a bit of speckling. It doesn't bother me so much on this one, but I gotta tell you, I tried a, another pour and it speckled up or got the measles. So I gotta figure that out today. But yep, there's the dried results. I wanted to show you. That's it. Super pretty though. Hope you guys like it. I'll see you soon. Take care.